welcome to Denny's World here. So this is my YouTube channel and yes, as you can see, I've done vlogs and stuff before about a bit of my travels that I've done over in Canada and Disneyland, but what I haven't done is actually introduce myself. So this is what today's video is going to be all about. Okay, so I have a list of questions for myself to answer here, just so you know, you guys can get to know me a bit. So, first one, who am I? I'm Danielle Logan, and I am 23 years old. Um, so, most people just call me Danny, after Danny Minogue, because <laughs> that's my mum kind of liked how she spells it, so that's how she, it kind of, that kind of stuck. Um, what do I do? <laughs> I work at Woolworths, I volunteer at Crumb and Wildlife Century, um, I go out at theme parks, I read, I take photos, I vlog a bit, I like to travel, and I play games of course. <laughs> I definitely love to play games. Oh, and watch Netflix. Okay, what's the first thing people should know about me? I think the first thing people should know about me that travel and music is like everything to me like I've always grown up traveling ever since uh probably less than a year old to be honest really the music well I never really was fully into music until I went and seen Backstreet Boys for the first time now that was inedible mum was always listening to them and whatnot and ever since then I've just loved concerts love music love live music anything to do with music um, so that brings on to my next thing. What's my favourite band and why? Well, as I've just said, Backstreet Boys. Because Mum just loved Backstreet Boys and it was inevitable that I was bound to also like them. Now, pretty much, yeah, their first tour out here was in 2006. Now, I wasn't actually going to that concert, but I somehow scored myself in a way in. Because I sang to Nick Carter as a little nine year old. And yeah, they're just really down to earth guys, very upbeat, poppy music, and I can't think of a better reason why not to like them. Okay, so my fave colour, red. <laughs> biggest accomplishment. So my biggest accomplishment in my life would probably say when I lived in Canada for six months. Now, like everyone that would know me knows that I just like living at home in my safe space where my family and friends are and you know that's what I do it's I just couldn't imagine being anywhere else until I went to Canada well I think I got about three months in and then I just was like really homesick so I'm like no no I've got to make it to six months if I don't make it to six months then what am I doing with my life? Like, I can't make it this far without my family? Well, yeah, that is right. But yeah, that was a really different experience. I definitely would recommend to do it. Um, my favourite drink. My favourite drink, probably an espresso martini. I love espresso martinis. I live for them. I breathe them. I drink them. Just espresso martinis. Oh, and Jack and Coke, because who does not love a good Jack Daniels and Coke? Um, so my biggest fear, definitely spiders. I don't care how many people say that they're cute and cuddly, and all they want to do is live and survive. They're just, they've got eight legs. They've got multiple eyes. All their little hat legs have like little hairs on them. They're just creepy, and I don't like them, especially when they're crawling over my hands. Um, am I a dog or cat person? Well, I am a cat person. I love tigers. They're my favorite animal. Um, cats have just always been the main thing about my life. I have, well, we have three cats. One that used to be my nan's, one that's my sister's, and one that is mine, which is Tinkerbell. Yep. I love cats. Um... Do I have tattoos? I have one, two, three, I have four, one, I have four tattoos. I have three Disney inspired and one tiger. So I have a tiger on my left side of my belly. It's actually a tiger paw print that was taken off a real tiger at Dreamworld. 
Um, her name was Sita. She was 18 years old. Yeah, she was my favorite tiger, so that's why I got that. Um, I also have a Tinkerbell looking really sassy on my left ankle. I have a Peter Pan one of the two stars, the Neverland stars. And then I have a Lion King one on my right shoulder. Um, first celebrity crush. Well, my first celebrity crush, I think, is a lot. The same with every girl probably in my generation. It was just about Daniel Radcliffe. Thanks, Harry Potter. Thanks for that. Just Harry Potter. Daniel Radcliffe, you are my love. I watched anything and everything you were in. I have posters on my wall of you. You were just amazing. Um, what's on my walls at the moment? Well, I've got a picture of me and Stitch. I've got a picture of me and a blue whale that you can't really see. A picture of me with Sita, and then a painting from one of the Dream World Tigers, Shanti. So a nice canvas and then on my other wall, well, I've just got my bookcase and then all my pop vinyls, which I have way too many of. Um, how many countries have I been to? Well, let's see, I've been to Canada, America numerous amounts of times, New Zealand, Fiji, Switzerland, yeah, so, yeah, so five countries. Hopefully that's changing soon. Um, first thing I think about when I wake up. Well, the first thing I think about when I wake up is just how much I want to fall back asleep. Because most mornings, I'm waking up at like, say, 4 a.m. in the morning. So who would not want to go back to sleep at that time of morning? Because, <laughs> um, yeah, I work in the bakery at Woolies, as I said. Um, and that doesn't allow for sleeping. So I think about sleep. First concert. First concert was Battery Boys, as I said, the Never Gone Tour. Last thing I bought, well, I literally just came back from the shops. Um, and as you can think, Boxing Day sales, so, well, not Boxing Day anymore, but Boxing Day week. So I bought a new pair of bikinis from H&M and some Lush bath bombs from Lush, because they're all 50% off, and I am getting on that. Um, if I could have any job, what would it be? Well... I just wonder what that is. I love tigers, so I really want to work with tigers one day. One day it will happen, you will see me as a tiger handler. Um, what world events are currently troubling for me? I think for a lot of people, climate change and the fact that humans are pretty much killing our earth, I, I, I just can't fathom how people just throw trash everywhere in any way that they want like and the pictures that I see of animals with like say plastic shove up their noses or with their um sometimes their guts are cut open and all you can see is just the plastic that we've been throwing in the oceans we are just horrible people and we need to do something about it but I'm not going to be going into that because that's a very very political subject <laughs> um one thing you wish you would have no one as a kid. Hmm. Yeah, let's come back to that one. Um, what did you want to be when you grew up? Well, Tiger Handler. Always have, always wanted to be. Uh, longest time in hospital was probably in grade one. I was in for my tonsils. I think I was in there probably for about half a week, maybe a week. Yeah. Um, if you could save which one, Earth or humanity? Well, definitely not humanity. Let's just put it that way. Okay, well, I've also got one here for fave quote. I think one of my favorite quotes is everything happens for a reason because it just it, stuff just doesn't happen for any known cause like everything happens for a reason um so the one thing i wish i wouldn't know when as a kid i think i wish what it was like to be an adult when i was a kid because then i would have i wouldn't have wanted to grow up anymore but yeah i just wish being an adult was easier 
I mean, I'm not even out of home yet. <laughs> and, but you know, one day I will become a full-fledged adult. That day will be far away. Sorry, parentals. But anyway, that's all I've got for you today. Thank you for watching, and I hope you watch. You stay tuned for my next video. Um, and make sure, in the meantime, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye.